Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. It's show day. So I never start my vlogs from my house, but I felt like I had some apologizing slash explaining to do. I didn't get a video out last Wednesday. I had actually started filming it, but we then had my cousin's wedding and then we've just been so busy at work. Just It was just impossible to sit down, edit and get something out by Wednesday that wasn't just rubbish. Um, so basically what I was filming was a prepping for the show season. Uh, like all the trimming, I'm gonna like put all the footage in here instead because it's it's worthy, it just didn't make it into its own vlog. So yeah, I trimmed all of Dublin's feet, gave them basically a bit of a bowl cut because then it grows out a lot better. She's had all of her legs trimmed, her beard trimmed, her bridal path trimmed, uh, her tail trimmed, basically everything that I needed to do to get her ready for today. I like to do all the clipping and everything like that in advance so that it, it settles and grows out and you can't tell. So yeah, that's basically where I was at. It is now Sunday, um, and again, I was really busy yesterday, so I bathed her last night and I've put her hood on, but I haven't packed the trailer, I haven't cleaned my tack, and it's a bit of a nightmare. And as you can see, it's already half past eight, so I literally am about to leave and get my ass into gear. So guys, this video is gonna end up being the true definition of keeping it real. I was so happy to be going back out showing, Dublin was absolutely keen as mustard, as always, to get on that trailer. And we headed down to our local riding club, which is at Lodge Farm Equestrian. Uh, it's a really nice venue, we absolutely love it. Um, I had a wonderful Jordan coming with me to help, and Dublin was so pleased to be back that she actually stood and watched the rings for a good 15 minutes when she got off the trailer. Anyway, we've arrived. I'm uh, making a pot noodle. Jordan is stood in the middle of the car park with my horse. Um, they're running low, slow, late. That was me saying late and slow at the same time. They're running late, but that's standard horse shows for you. Um, so I've got my number ready and I didn't clean my tack yesterday. So I'm gonna clean my bridle now, have my pot noodle and enjoy the sunshine because the sun is shining. So this show for me really was just something to get us back in the swing of showing. I'm so out of touch, I was so underprepared, I had so much time that I thought I was okay and then clearly I wasn't so I hadn't cleaned my tack, I just had so much left to do. It's all the things you sort of forget that you've got to go and do before shows. So it was just simply to get us back in the swing of it. Um, working out our timings like Dublin having a massage pad on for half an hour before we had to tack up, things like that. But yeah, this show really was needed because lots of things need changing. I have actually ordered myself a new bridal. No matter how many times we cleaned it, it just has lost its shine and sparkle. It is seven years old now, so I've ordered a new show bridal and I will be keeping it purely for the show ring. The one that is in Jordan's hand now will just be used if I have clinics or lessons or if I do actually just need to ride her in her double. You will also see later on in the video that I had some serious trouble with my hair bun. I've had layers and everything put into my hair over the winter. Um, it's really thick, it's a lot shorter. So that's another thing I need to practice. I'm just gonna remove the bun entirely and do something else. But it's all these things that I needed to go and make these mistakes to get myself back in the swing of it. Dublin just had some shine spray popped on her, some very okay-ish plaits. I need to thin her mane more. Again, something that I didn't do because I just completely forgot. Plenty of gloss on her nose. This is the Supreme Products one so it doesn't burn. It's got UV protection that's better than using baby oil. We're good to go. Now, I didn't explain it very well because I've just sort of been mucking around with Jordan actually. Uh, we're doing the ridden plaited and the veterans. So something a little bit different. I thought I'd stick her in an extra class because normally I normally come all this way and just do one class, which I didn't want to do. So we're doing the plaited and then the veterans. And all I need is top four because I'm actually using this show to qualify for the ESUK championships. So. We just need top four pacing. 
so I was basically put into a false sense of security. She was so chill. I didn't have any karma, but I was like, it's fine because we've been to this venue so much. She knows it and, you know, I thought she'll be super chill. She warmed up really nicely. She is a little bit stiff, so I am actually going to get Olivia to come back out. She felt fine, but I'm just really fussy and she just felt a little bit stiff, so I thought she probably could do the massage. However, like I said, she warmed up really, really nicely. The warm-up arena was quite small because it has people sort of standing in there. I just popped her through all of her paces, really practice my transitions so they weren't so abrupt just sort of moved her up and down the paces circles bending just tried to supple her up really we then entered the ring and i think she grew two hands and that's when i realized that oh gosh not having karma was a big mistake um yeah she just looks a little bit stiff here doesn't she but you know she had a whale of a time um i don't really know what happened she just got so excited like she was towing my arms out, she's being so strong, look at her. My riding is not amazing, I actually am a little bit um, disappointed with the way I rode, but that's just, again, kick up the butt to get me a bit fitter. Uh, we went straight into our individual for the ridden plaited class, and I completely forgot that they are required to gallop in this class. I've spent the last four years settling Dublin and making her understand that we don't gallop anymore. In hindsight, because she was so naughty at the start, I probably shouldn't have actually galloped. Um, and that would have just saved me, I think, a lot of hassle. However, the judge had a good look at us. We had to walk away and walk trot back. And I could not keep her in a straight line. She was trying to jog. I, I, it was like riding a pent-up five-year-old. Our trot back wasn't terrible, but again, it wasn't brilliant. It was a little bit wobbly and I could feel her anticipating. So I said, you know what? Fine, we'll get straight into canter. And then boom, whoa, it's far too exciting, mum, I can't cope. I was like, just get on, get into canter, just keep going. Uh, it's all happened now, whatever, just keep going. Um, and then I normally come across the middle and I'm trying to trot. Um, in the end, I ended up giving her quite a big pull. Uh, which was too much because then she went a little bit too back within the trot. I uh, got her straight back into canter because she was anticipating. Why I decided to gallop, I don't know. But off we went. <laughs> she just flew and I was like, oh my god, the end of the arena, I'm not going to make it. And I really had to pull her up because she was not stopping. I then just decided, you know what? Just halt, salute, laugh it off, almost apologise to the judge and get back into line up. Now, this is where I like to keep it real because I quite simply could have gone back and gone, oh my God, she was amazing, we got second place, when the reality was there was only three of us in that class and the poor lady on the chestnut had just as much trouble as I did. So actually, all is not what it seems. If there was more in that class, Dublin definitely would have been a thank you, but no thank you. So after this class, I took her over to the indoor, which was empty, and I must have done 17 to 20 laps of canter with her sounding like a steam train. She was just so fresh and so hot. We then had to bolt back outside for the veterans. Now, this was more mannered, but again, she anticipated that we were going to canter, so I actually just asked. I'm gonna have to change my show routine because she's just anticipating it too much. So whilst it looks a lot better, I am having to sit back so much because she is so strong. I then asked her for the trot across the diagonal and it was almost a little bit too much. She just sort of collapsed into it, uh, fell out through her shoulder into that transition because all I was thinking was do not take off with me on here because obviously we'd previously galloped. So I was sitting up really tall, almost a bit too much. I sort of annoyed her a little bit there that you see I was just being a little bit too heavy collapsed back into trot it was awful but i wanted to just do it in a mannered way before we went home if that makes sense so it was just a case of salute we're not even square again don't always believe everything you see on instagram because of course we were first in this class which means the photo would have looked like we'd had an amazing day with our first and second 
but purely because class numbers, uh, that's the only reason we did well. That poor lady had never done it before, and that's the only reason why we were before her. Are we home now, Naughty Pony? Are we home? Naughty Pony. Right, we are home. Um, I didn't finish the vlog when I was at the show because it was half past four. Uh, well, it was actually 10 to five by the time we left. So it was just getting on a little bit too late. She obviously had been out all day um, and I just wanted to get back. I didn't want to be sitting there till six o'clock sort of uh, messing around. So yes, we're home. Um, I don't know what to say really. Obviously you've heard the voiceover by now, but uh, yeah, I will be getting some karma. Um, she's so difficult to ride when she's like that. There's not really much else I can say. Um, so it's just the uh, first show over and done with. And to a note to say, when you see people on Instagram with all their frillies and rosettes, don't always believe it because, you know, tomorrow I shall post a photo and it will look like we've come first and second and had a great day. Um, however, I will be explaining in my caption that that is not always the case. Um, so <laughs> I can't even fathom like what today was, but it's nice that she still feels so good despite being 22. She still really enjoys being out and about. Um, I don't actually know when her next show is. I've got so much going on in May. Um, I'm going away with her at the end of April. Um, but then we've got like badminton. I'm going to Royal Windsor with a friend to help groom. So there's so many vlogs coming out, but in terms of a show vlog, I don't actually know. I might go off and do some arena hires and I think I might go and find a gallops. That, that's probably on the cards. So yeah. I'm going to go home, have a good shower and go to bed. Thank you so much for watching. We will hopefully see you next time and remember to subscribe. Bye.